Sat Nam. Well, you've already been chosen. You've already made the biggest choice. And what's that? The choice to be human. The choice to come here at, to the earth right now at this time. You have been chosen by the one and you made the choice to agree. And now you find yourself here. I find myself here. And I, you know, I want to say this, you know, no matter how fucked up you are, because <laughs> I can be so messed up myself. I still, underneath all of my addiction and all of my mistakes and all of the ups and downs of life, I still know how freaking rad I am. And I really want to touch that part of you right now. You know, you know deep down how, how amazing you are and how that it is totally your choice to live a life of freedom and love. That's really what it is. We want to be free. We want to be liberated from fear. You know, Yogi Bhajan is a controversial teacher. You know, he's, he's got a record of doing some pretty bad stuff. But at the same time, not all of it is proven. And there is some controversy around that because the main instigator kind of changed her mind at some point. <laughs> you know, So I don't know. I can feel it in his personality that he's got a lot of chi, not much different than me. And what you do with that is going to make powerful waves, not only in your life, but those around you. And he was human, like we are. He was prone to being addicted to fear, being uh, sidetracked and pulled out of the path. And we are like that. And even in all of that, he is still who God chose to channel this wisdom and this amazing technology. Just like you and I in all our flaws are still perfectly designed to not only deliver ourselves to liberation, but as we're doing it to inspire and guide others to do it also. That's, that's a human's destiny. That's what's in the stars for every one of us. It's just how and when we do it. That's what makes us individual. That's what makes us specialized. So Yogi Bhajan said this. You have the intelligence. You have common sense. I can really relate this. I am smarter than my addiction, right? I am smarter and, 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 and intelligent enough to know that some of my choices are I know already what they're going to do. And, and, and I, I even know sometimes why I'm doing it. And still I do it, right? So we are smart and we are intelligent. But sometimes we don't meditate regularly. We don't do our kundalini practices with others. We don't walk in nature. We don't do what is needed to clear out our minds. And we think we can get away with it. And the truth is, nobody can. When you fail to med meditate, when I don't get on that cushion and do the work, when I don't get my ass down to GDF, not as a teacher, but as a student, when I fail this way, the combined strength of our subconscious and our thoughts catch and trap us. We know this to be true. How many times have you been so like, oh my God, this is so freaking rad, this kundalini practice, it's working so good, and then you just stop coming. <laughs> you know, you just, you just randomly stop coming. And then you just, you know, all of a sudden either you're, you're not as regular in your morning practice or it becomes very um, short and uh, mechanical. You stop, you take your foot off the gas. You know, Yogananda said this, and this is so true. There is no standing still in life. You're either going forward towards the light or you're sinking back into your fear. So combined, this combined strength of our subconscious and our thoughts, we get caught. This combination, when the subconscious links with the play of the mind, is the original of, it, it, I'm sorry, it is the origin of mental intrigues. Mental intrigues are this, these, this energetic that humans have about being overly interested in themselves. Ha! 
mental, we're intrigued with our suffering. We are intrigued with our specialness. We are intrigued with what has gone wrong in our life. And we play it over and over and over. When I went to my first level two Kundalini training, it was on the mind and meditation. And it was all about mental intrigues. And there was all the, I mean, how you move energy is tons of breathing and tons of mantra and tons of process. So we're processing and doing that. It was five, uh, five days with Hardy Jeevan and Tej in Nevada City in this old uh, abandoned like Catholic church next to a graveyard. It was classic. And so we're doing this. And then we go into these small groups and we had to do this whole process and this sharing. And I'll never forget, I'm sharing, like we, we were supposed to like really briefly, you know, this is how fucked up my childhood is. This is what they did. This is how I'm suffering. This is blah. So I did my thing and I'll never forget this one guy, this young kid, about 22 year old, young Kundalini yogi boy. And he looks at me and he says, huh? How come you always frame that, that your mom abandoned you when your mom actually, because my mom was going to give me up for adoption and I get really focused on that. He goes, why don't you focus on that she kept you? (laughs) Right? Why do I keep the story all about that? She was going to give me up. She was going to give me up. She was going to, she didn't. She fucking kept you. (laughs) You know, where, where's the focus on the good stuff, people? mental intrigue the mental intrigue and most of our self-defeating patterns we are intoxicated by you need a habit to relate to your mind you need to sit with your mind and review it polish it and direct it and that is what kundalini yoga does that is what mantra is mantra is the goal and the path It is through contemplation and in deep levels of healing that we are revealed the the diamond. And the diamond is like threefold. The diamond shows you a different way to see your childhood pain. I'll never forget at this, another um, uh, advanced training in Kundalini with Hardy Jeevan. I was sitting there and we're going to really get into these, going on retreat and just kundalini out but that is what the guru is you is all about it's about intense polishing intense amount of breath work hours of mantra yes you're going to learn to teach but you're already a teacher everybody is guru 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 right the the, guru is the density the challenge the mental intrigue that is polished through the practice that brings us to the light And even if you don't sit on a stage or at the front of the classroom and call yourself a teacher, you are constantly leading others by your example. And ask yourself, where are you leading them? Are you leading them deeper into their mental intrigues? Are you leading yourself and others around you to celebrate and be controlled by fear? Or have you polished enough of that bullshit off that you can set the mental intrigue aside and know who you are and whose you are. That's what the Guru is is you about. It's seven weekends. It starts off with four huge days. And if you're, you know, like, oh my God, I don't know if I can come, then do the first three days. The first three days are open to the public. Here's the thing. We all are being called to wake up. So beyond the guru is you, let's put that to the side. What is streaming on the planet from the cosmos and what is bubbling up from the earth's core is the kundalini awakening process. It's like on, it's happening. Whether you're a mechanic and you don't know the first thing about fucking meditation, it's still all over you. I'm seeing it in my family, people that were always, oh God, you know, that kundalini stuff, right? They're here. They're now. Everybody's getting it. And you have a special advantage because you, you've tried a practice that's working for you. Stay with it. Go deeper into it. What will happen over those seven weekends from April 28th to July 30th 
is you're going to polish off some big chunks and see into your childhood into a, in a different way. They say this. It's so true. It's never too late to have a good childhood. We just are so intrigued by our pain. We don't want to give it up. But the guru is you will help you package it different. Basically, you're rebranding yourself. <laughs> you're rebranding yourself as an awakened, enlightened, awesome human being. And you already are. You're just not acknowledging it. You're just, you're just playing in the dirt. Let us help you get out of the mud. Everybody can do this. Everybody can. It's going to be hard for you to set the time aside. You're going to miss stuff. You don't have to worry. You could do it on Zoom. Everything's recorded. You can make it up. Just get into the journey. Just say yes. That is what is most important. And this is 2023 is about, I, I call it, you know, the year of me. 2023 is the year of me. I myself, in experience, I have cleared literally my house and even GDF of everything that is not Kundalini because you know what? Nothing else matters. I, I have realized you need to pull this back and offer only what you know has the strength to actually really help the collective and forget all the rest of the bullshit. Also, what it requires of us in this year to stop doing anything that is not in alignment with your inner truth. Stop it. You know, and the thing is, most people won't even notice that you stopped with them because they're so self-centered. They only wanted you for certain things anyways, and you're not that, so fuck it. Give up. This is an amazing year, and the guru is you, is here for you. I'm so excited this, about this. We have amazing people like Dr. Colby. We have amazing teachers that are going to come in and teach you about you know, the body. The body is the vehicle the soul uses to transcend and enlighten. We're going to have Mahan Sat City as a big part of this. We're going to have Guru Ratana's wisdom laying out the whole path to your awakening. I love having more help around me this time so that I can spend more time on the esoteric uh, magic of mantra. Every time I'm with you, I'm going to open up the secrets and let you experience it in a deep way so that you know, you know, you had the tools in your spiritual toolbox to not only heal you and save you, but to transcend yourself out of this constant repetition of rebuilding yourself. You know how we do, we get, we feel good. We, you know, we move towards the right direction. We awaken and then our addictions, to, and the addiction to your mind and to suffering is your leading addiction. That's the addiction that leads to alcohol, overspending, you know, need for gratification, blah, 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 blah. All that fucking shit is, is the addic addiction to your mental intrigues. Because at some point, you can't stand it inside of you. You're going to have to reach out for alcohol. You're going to have to reach out for pot. You're going to have to reach out for man. You're going to have to reach out for a bunch of food you shouldn't eat, you know, because you need to numb yourself because it's so painful to live in the intrigue. There's another way. There's another way. Let's do this. I love you so, so much. So the best price is now. The best price for this is now. It, and I'm, I'm just going to make it easy till the end of the month. I think that's Tuesday, right, of next week. So January 31st. So right now, you can sign up, pay with a credit card for $2,100. If you need a payment pa plan, just get the $500 down and we'll get the payments going. And you'll, you'll get it done. And I'll work with you. Or you can pay $2,000 cash. Be done with it. After the 31st, it, it's still affordable. It's going to go up to $2,300. Whatever. No matter what, you know you're worth it. You know you love this shit. <laughs> and I know it's like we get, oh, God, I've tried so many things. Is this really going to work? I'm telling you, I've tried all kinds of shit. This is the only shit that works. And that is not true for everybody, but it is true if you're listening to this. It's probably the reason... You're hearing my crazy voice. I love you so much. Have the best day. 
Call me or text me if you need help signing up for The Guru Is You. And I'll see you in class. Satnam.